Hey, what is up guys? It's Bloodzealous. Welcome back to the second part of the Jungle House tutorial. Now, this is just kind of a little bit shorter one than last week's or, or a couple days ago's tutorial, just because we're just doing the second part, finishing this house up, which means that I'll probably have another house tutorial out on Saturday or Friday, which basically means um, we'll have two house tutorials in one week. So, I have installed a texture pack. This is Jared Doku. I'll probably have a link in the description because uh, it's kind of like cheating. It makes my houses look better. But also, I think it's just fun to build with texture packs. It kind of gives you more uh, flexibility. So, where we left off last... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where we left off last week was... We basically... I added in the windows, but that's all we had done. So, this week, we have to finish off the dandy old... Uh, the dandy old pathway. And that shouldn't take too long. And we gotta connect it to the house, and then we can do the interior. And the interior on this house is actually really easy to make look good. Um, which means I can actually do it without screwing everything up. So, let's make ourselves the little pathway first. Um, now someone commented on the last video, and, ooh, let's see who's up here. Someone commented on the last video, and they were like, you should show more of the tree. You didn't really show the tree. And I, I actually agree. The one thought I've had is this is a jungle house, but you can't even really tell this is a tree. It just kind of looks like a tower house. So I agree with that comment, actually. Um, so although there's not really any way I have easily of showing the entire tree, in the end, you will see I'm going to do something that'll at least make it look more natural, more uh, like a tree and less like a, a pillar. So I'll work on that. Okay, I think what I did. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do, and I actually, I'm feeling fairly confident, because obviously when I built the first part of the house, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I did already, if you look over there, you can't see it, you can see the base. I, I practiced, I copied what we had already done, and I just put it over there, and I um, just tried to see if I could make it work. So I've actually already done what we're doing today, which is why I kind of understand what I'm supposed to be doing, and it should hopefully turn out well, and all that good stuff. So, just trying to... Make this kind of clean here. Um, there we go. So we're just going to put ladders up here. Going like that. This is not actually how... That's not exactly how I did it, but it looks okay. So ladders, and actually we can get rid of these ladders. And we'll put the trap doors. This one needs to go there. Okay. So that is the pathway getting up. Like so. Let me just... Uh, jump off here finish this off in case you missed the last episode there's a link in the description you're probably going to want to figure out how i started this video otherwise what you're watching today is going to make absolutely no sense so there's a link in the description to part one of this tutorial because otherwise you're probably just like dude 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 what what are, what are you doing um oh hey guys oh hey who do we got here we got armor man and uh skeleton man and uh, chewbacca and uh pig man and you and uh, are you on crack oh i'm sorry Okay, so let's do the roof really quickly. I'm going to use a little bit of world edit magic because I'm lazy. These are half stone slabs if you for some reason couldn't tell, but yeah. So set, I believe those are 44 and that should give us a roof. I don't know quite why I used those. I'm sure there's other options, maybe some sort of wood. But it matches the railing on the stairs and matching is a good thing. So we don't need a... yeah. Let's get inside here. Now the inside, now if one thing I did for the lighting, which I thought was kind of cool, I was proud of myself because I came up with this design. Um, one thing I did for the lighting in here is, let me just do this first. I put a torch in each corner, so like right there, and then one right there, and then over here. And then I put glass, like there and there. And the glass isn't really necessary, I don't know why I'm doing it, but I just kind of put it in. It made sense, like if this was a real life house, you'd probably have like some sort of glass in front of your torch. Like that, and that's really cool, because now we don't need to have any light in this house right here. Like if I just make it night really quickly. Got new people joining the server. You can see this house is nicely lit, and you can't see any of the torches, which is kind of cool. So um, that is that. Anyways, we are now on the inside. Uh, I'm going to cut just for a second, make sure I can refresh my memory with what we're doing, and I will be right back. I just want to take a quick moment to thank all of you fans, both the ones on the server watching me now and the ones who watch my videos, give them likes, comment, and are active, and really just anyone who likes my videos. I want to thank you so much for your support. I know I don't do a whole lot to thank you guys necessarily, but there's your thank you. You guys really mean a lot. So with that being said, 
let's do the inside of this house. Now, I believe what we're going to go for here is, uh, let's break out this. I'm now, I'm sort of half making this up as I go, just for the, the lulls and our thing. So we're gonna go like this, and then I think we want... Okay, I'm gonna finish that part later, because I can. Then over here we're gonna have a crafting table on each side. And we'll get some upside down stairs going like that. Actually, they should be this... No, no, we can go with that color. Now the one thing with this texture pack is all the wood is so similar. Like, the spruce is just a little bit greener than the normal. And I, I mean, I'm okay with that, but you know, they are, they are very similar. So, we could probably put like a flower pot over here. Just find one. Flower pot right there, put a plant in it. That looks nice. Looks quite nice. And uh, then over here, I believe what I did is give myself some of these and we'll need this right here. I don't know, I don't know what the, uh, the number is for lit furnaces, so that's whatever. We won't have those, but that's okay. Go like this. More bushes, and then with this texture pack, at least, um, you can put trap doors on the top of these, and they look like uh, freaking stove tops. I don't, that doesn't really work in uh, default Minecraft textures, but I'm gonna do it like that, just because it looks kind of cool. So, then if you turn that on, obviously you have uh, lit furnaces, looks kind of cool. Um, and then right here, I believe I just had a chair, a nice simple chair kind of looking out across the area. So we'll need this, and then we will need a sign, and it'll go like, that and that. We got a new people, a lot of new people joining if you're looking at the chat there. I tweeted this out, but I don't have that many Twitter followers, so I don't, I mean, I guess that means people read my tweets. Oh, this is a problem, actually. Is this a problem? I guess that works, actually. Okay. I wasn't sure. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, so yeah, uh, there's one other thing we need to do. Go like this and this, and then we can give ourselves a chest, which is right here. You can go like this and this. Get your double chest over your bed. And very easy inside, guys, but I it's honestly better than most of the insides I do. You got crafting tables, you have furnaces, you have a chest, so it's, it works in real life. And um, we are not done, though. I, I just remember we are not done. I'm not going to use the door to get out. That's kind of useless. No one does that. Doors are stupid. Oh, we got more people joining. I should probably tell them how to get here, but skaters on that. Admin. Admin, do your job. Okay, so now we need to make this look like a tree, because I agree with that comment, as I said. This does not look like a tree, so we're just going to get some leaf decoration going. Um, just kind of random. I think what I did a lot was in the corners. I came down like that. So, just kind of wanting to make it look random. Natural, but random. Um, so, oh! Oh! Uh, what is my speed at? I feel like I'm a freaking speed racer, and it's really hard to do anything. So yeah, we're just uh, we're just gonna throw some leaves around the house, and um, I never like this because my OCD is like, that looks stupid. That's not symmetrical, and blah 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 blah. blah. But it does kind of look okay in the end if you just don't suck at it. So we'll just kind of drop some leaves down like that. Not bad. Over here we can jumble them up right here and bring the entire wad down. And it's really just kind of something you have to make up as you go. There's no, uh, there's no, no cool, like, pattern. Actually, that's the, that's a bad thing. If you have a pattern in your leaf, your leaf sprawling, you're probably doing it wrong. It's probably not gonna look too good. So, be random with your leaves. Just kinda go like that. Um, ah! Ah! Oh, hi! So, yeah, let's put something here. Just so it's kind of on top of the house. And there we go, You, this is too long right here. It is bugging me that there's nothing up here. So we'll just kind of go like that, and there we go. We have leaves kind of scattered throughout the house. Looks like that over there. I didn't want to show that just because I wanted you guys to be kind of excited about what was coming. But yeah, that is what this is supposed to look like. So that is your jungle house for you guys. For you guys, I know this was a shorter video just because we had to finish off what we did last week, but that means I will probably get a tutorial in, a tutorial in, um, like hopefully later this week. Now, I want to show you one thing. I've been working on this castle. This is our donor world. I've been working on this castle. What is that? Right here. And I don't know why there are all those things. That's actually really pissing me off. 
Um, but yeah, I've been working on this castle. It's more like a courtyard. It's not really a castle. And I could do a tutorial on that, like how to make those walls in the front and everything, if you want to see that, but I'm not sure. It's kind of similar to Corallus's castle. I'm not sure if it's too similar that people might be like, you're copying! Uh, because I did design most of it myself, but I definitely based it off of his ideas, so that is that castle, in case you might want to see a tutorial on that. Otherwise, though, this week I probably will be doing something else, and the castle will be, like, in a week or two. But I will figure out what to do. Make sure to suggest things in the comment section down below. And uh, also, you know how I do a funny intro for every single one of these? Kind of just like a, a mini intro in the beginning that's usually kind of funny or supposed to be? You can always suggest ideas for that because I would love to have ideas for that too. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, do whatever you have to do to make it known that you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next house tutorial. Follow me on Twitter at Bloodzellos. Add me on my fan Skype, Bloodzellos fans. Thank you so much for watching.